Hello everyone, today we're going to look at applications of radian measure. So before when we dealt with angles, we were dealing with degrees and today we're going to be focusing on radian measure. So as you saw in a different section, you know how to convert between the two. So now we're going to do some applications of why we want radians versus degrees. So we're going to look at two of them. The first one is arc length. So we know that the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r. And if we want to find the arc length of a segment of a circle, we need to know what fraction of the circle we're looking at. So for instance, I've got a circle, radius r, some angle theta, and then the arc length is denoted by s. So s is the arc length. And we're looking at the fraction theta over 2 pi of the circle. That's the ratio of the circle we're looking at. So the arc length is 2 pi r, the radius, uh, the circumference, times the fraction. 2 pi is cancel, and we're left with theta r. But remember that this only works if theta is in radians, because the 2 pi comes from radians. So we'll do a couple of examples. So here is a circle, and it's got a segment of pi over 2 radians and a radius of 4, and we want to find the arc length. So s is theta r. Theta is already in radians, so I just plug it in. Pi over 2 times 4, which is 2 pi. That is a perfectly fine answer. 2 pi, whatever the units are, feet, inches, meters, you know, whatever they are. I could also plug it into the calculator and I'll get roughly 6.283. Okay, so let's try another one. So again, we've got a segment of a circle. The angle is 2 pi over 3, radius 4.6, and again, we're looking for the arc length. S is theta r. Our angle is in radians already, so this is good. I can just plug it in. So I have my radius, 4.6, times my angle, 2 pi over 3. I'll plug that into the calculator and I'll get 9.634 and then again whatever the units happen to be. So let's try another one. A nautical mile is the length of arc along a great circle of the earth for a central angle of one minute. So that tick mark, that apostrophe stands for a minute. The modern definition is a distance of 1852 meters. And the question is, what are they using as the Earth's radius? So we, run, we want to use S equals theta R. This time we're looking for R. We know S, it's 1852, and we're looking for theta. So to find theta, remember, we need the angle in radians, and right now it's listed as a minute. Each degree is broken down into 60 minutes each minute is broken down into 60 seconds. So you can think of it kind of like a clock and a degree is like an hour. So an hour is 60 minutes, 60 minutes is 60 seconds. So one minute is one over 60 degrees. And then if I want 100, uh, one over 60 degrees into radians, I multiply by pi over 180. And if I do that, I get pi over 10,800 radians. This is a very small angle, right? A minute is, again, 1 60th of a degree. A degree is 1 over 360 of a circle. So it's a very, very small slice of a circle. And so when I plug it in, again, I have S equals theta R. I know R. I mean, I know S and I know theta, and I'm looking for R. So to find R, I'm going to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of R fraction right here. So R is 1852 times 10,800 over pi. Plug that into my calculator. I get a very large number in meters because that's what the units are, meters. So I'm going to change it to kilometers. Something like the Earth's radius makes much more sense than kilometers. So we get 6,366.707 kilometers. If you Google what the Earth's radius is, you get 6,371 kilometers, which is pretty close. And it's also um, good to remember that the Earth is not a perfect sphere. It's an oblate spheroid, so 
the radius depends on what part of the earth you're looking at. So there's always going to be some difference between um, what one person gets as the radius and what someone else gets. Okay, so that is it for the ar arcs, um, arc length, sorry. And we're going to look at the area of a sector next. So again, I have some circle of radius r, some angle cut out of, of um, theta radians, and we're going to look at the shaded area this time. And if you remember, the area of a full circle is pi r squared. So we're going to do something similar to what we did last time. And we get that the area is 1 half theta r squared. But again, remember, theta has to be in radians. If it's in degrees, it will not work. So we'll do a couple examples. First, we have the um, Pac-Man-like picture here. So the area that we're looking at is a very large part of the circle. The angle is 9 pi over 5, and the radius is 1.3. So again, our angle is already in radians, so I can just plug it into the equation. A equals 1 half theta r squared. Remember, order of operations, I need to do the squaring first before I do any of the multiplication. And if I leave it in terms of pi, I get 1.52 pi, so that's the exact answer. And again, I can also plug this into the calculator and get that it's roughly 4.778. The units here would be the units squared. So if my radius was in meters, my area would be meters squared. So let's try another one. We've got a much smaller angle here. It's an angle of 30 degrees, a radius of 3, and I want to find that area. 30 degrees isn't helpful. We need to change it to radians. So again, remember to go from degrees to radians, I'll multiply by pi over 180. So I get pi over 6 radians. You always want to leave it the exact answer because you don't want to round in the middle of a problem. So I'm going to leave the whole pi over 6 radians. And I'll plug that into my equation. A equals 1 half theta r squared. Again, in terms of pi, this is 3 pi over 4. And if I want to plug it into the calculator, I get roughly 2.356. Okay. And we'll do one more word problem. So a pizza is cut into eight equal pieces, the area of each being 88 centimeters squared. What is the diameter of the original pizza? So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a picture. So we have a circle. It is cut into eight pieces, and we're looking at the area of one slice. So in order to find the diameter, we're going to have to find the radius. So in order to find the radius, I need to know the area, which I have, and also the angle. So I need to find theta first. Remember that theta is one-eighth of the circle because we've cut it into eight pieces. The full circle is two pi, so one-eighth of two pi is pi over four. So we're looking at an angle of pi over four radians. Area is 1 half theta r squared. We'll plug in what we know. The area is 88. 1 half is 1 half. Theta is pi over 4. And we're looking for r squared. So if I multiply by my 2 and by my 4 over pi, I get that r squared is 88 times 2 times 4 divided by pi. If I simplify that, I get 704 divided by pi. And I want r, so I'm going to square root that, and I get roughly 14.97 centimeters. So that's r, but remember we want the diameter, so I need to double that. Remember that 2r equals d. So if I want the diameter, I need to double it. So the diameter is 29.94 centimeters. Okay, so we'll just remember the key to this is that your angle has to be in radians. Remember, the section is called Applications of Radian Measure. So that's the first thing you always have to check. Is my angle in radians? If it's not, you have to change it to radians. Okay, so try reading over the book, um, look at the homework problems, and let me know if you have any questions. Good luck.